Hi, my name is Building. I'm a current year 13 student here at NIST. And today I'm here to talk about a project that I've been working on over the summer. So my project was a smart insole designed for weight distribution. Uh, it consists of six different sensors uh, placed across the insole and it allows uh, patients to kind of analyze their weight distribution across different areas of the foot. This project was inspired by both my personal experience with my own disability and my time at the Children's Hospital as a volunteer where I found that many patients often had to travel far distances to come to the hospital to use this one specialized gait analysis machine which was a tra treadmill with gait analysis capabilities. So for patients such as myself uh, with mobility issues, we found that uh, most of the functions were uh, overkill and we'd off only benefit from uh, the weight distribution functions. So what I proposed was an alternative that was portable. So it was an insole that could fit inside your shoe. Uh, so the patients would be able to take it home and collect data passively as they went on with their daily lives. And then that data can be uh, exported and shared to medical professionals. The Children's Hospital currently uh, is working on like a package that they could give to patients from rural areas, uh, which involved, uh, which includes kind of stabilizer machine made of cardboard uh, that was supposed to help uh, patients kind of stand and practice walking. And I kind of wanted to improve on their existing prototype by offering uh, like an opportunity for data collection because right now. Um, like the product is just um, cardboard and uh, I just wanted to offer some data collection that would so in in the occasion that uh, the patient came back to hospital their doctors and medical professionals would have uh, data readily available to like make adjustments to their treatment plan it was actually a really um, cool experience to be able to co uh, coordinate with the children's hospital and work with them um, I think it was like a really enlightening experience. I was able to interact with many patients and currently we're undergoing data collection where uh, we're trying to select a group of patients to try out the product. So, uh, in the future, I'd like, I'd like to explore other like avenues or other fields that my product can be applied to, maybe for marathon runners or hikers to maybe assess their form or how well their form um, does over time because from what I understand endurance, like in endurance running or endurance hiking, um, like form is really beneficial to prevent or very crucial to prevent uh, injury. And yeah, I guess having another way of assessing their kind of form and their training is, would, would be useful. Just to be ambitious, um, if you're truly confident uh, in your idea, and you're truly passionate about it, I would say just go for it. Like, you know, don't be afraid of like the scope of your project or like, you know, don't be intimidated by competition. I think if you're pa like, let your passion guide you. I know it sounds cliche, but uh, feel free to be ambitious, you know. And then as you go through with developing the project, you kind of go into the flow. And I think everything started clicking together um, like after two, to two or three months uh, as I was developing the project. So like everything will go smoothly, I guess.